Hi, welcome. Some of you may have seen already something strange happening when you log out. When you are on Arco Linux, you have XFC Openbox and i3, three systems in one. So it's a, a starter ISO to get to know uh, the basics of Linux and, and already getting a variety of different environments. XFC more like Windows, Openbox something new and i3 completely new starting with the tiling window manager and there are four or five more of it. Now what uh, is the topic of the video? Well I'll show you what it is. When you install the latest version of Arch Linux or when you keep on rolling and you keep on updating you'll get of course the same packages as we have on this ISO. When you log out on the system then we have chosen for a beautiful login and it disappears. The beautiful login, which is a blue, rose, pink kind of thing, is overwritten, of, of not overwritten, but we sh they show you now your wallpaper and the wallpaper is actually coming from here. Now, the wallpaper can be seen is coming from user share backgrounds at Linux. Now there's one thing you should know in the file system, we have our wallpapers here in the backgrounds. And anything that's coming from here, if maybe you have more stuff installed, anything coming from user back share backgrounds on an XFCE, so definitely on an XFCE or, or something that you were building or making but has some kind of XFCE application that supplies the information for the background, then you'll get the same thing. You'll get here this Arc Linux, and then maybe let's change one. So if we take another wallpaper, this red one is also from us. Okay, so if we log out, you'll see that it's changing. Well, for me, it's no problem. It's a bug, right? But it's not a bug from, from Arc Linux. It's something we see happening, and I do understand a little bit more but not in the, in the finesses, not in, in the details. So what is happening is that in XFC, if there is a user share background involved, so if the background is set, you can set the background as well here, desktop settings, right? And you can set it uh, here, let's take this one, close. It doesn't really matter where you set it, as long as it's coming from user share backgrounds, it's gonna use that's to display on the light yeah. I have been reading about it and what do we um, well what do I understand from it is that lightm if account service is installed if account service is installed then this is a dbus interface for user query you can have a look at this link here and then you read up of, uh, on, on that uh, particular GitHub what this means, but it's, well, this is it. Uh, no more information available. And this, if, this application is used by Lightm, so it's an, an um, they work together, Lightm, Lightm, and account services work together. Now, why is account service on here? Well, two th reasons. If you don't install it on there, you get an, um, you get this, let me look for, for it first. All right, I found the article on Arclinux D, how to get rid of the dynamic user in LightDM login screen. So if you don't install the account service, you need to add a line to the etc LightDM users conf, uh, all else you get this thing dynamic user so somebody seems to be there on your system and not just eric so if account service is installed you won't see the dynamic user if you don't install the dynamic um, account the, um, account service then you need to do these lines add these lines to this particular file so that's one reason for installing account service to, to get rid easy of this dynamic guy there that's one thing. The other thing why account service is there is the mugshot. 
So this is an application when we click on this thing, maybe you've never clicked on it, but you can actually change this icon and say, I'm gonna select from stock and choose something red since the wallpaper is red and then apply. And then you th your thing up here is red. So it's as easy as just applying anything really here and okay, apply, done. Now the mock shot, if you want to remove it, say you want to remove it, minus R, mock shot, then it's going to say, look, uh, all's good. Let's do that another way with an S. You can remove mock shots and then of course, this thing won't work anymore, fail to edit profile, fail to execute, etc. And if you remove sudo pacman minus r account service, like so, then you'll see if we are going to log out, it will just keep having this normal look. This is the, what we've chosen. This is what you see in BSP, WM, in Awesome, in all the others, but not in XFCE. So that's one thing to do. But if you say, well, I would try rather like to change this mugshot thing, this, this icon up there. If you say, okay, mugshot is back in. Target not found, yay minus S mugshot. Was it AUR or not? It was AUR after all, so I had to do it with yay. And here you go. So when you install the mockshot thing, well, account service will be installed again, right? So it's a uh, dependency, it needs it in order to be able to actually process it. So click here and then it, mockshot really needs the account service and then apply and done. So that's a bit the issue. Um, for me, it's like I said, it's 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 well, it's funny that this this wallpaper is actually on the front page here on on the login screen. But is it a bug? Yeah, sure. Should be reported definitely. Where should be reported? I think LightM or account servers or both. But at this point in time, I have not enough information to give these guys a, a clue as to what's happening. We can only say, hey, this is happening. Um, but we rather would like to have um, some more info. So if there are people out there who want to put their teeth into this thing um, and figure out, hey, what's happening in, the, in detail in the backend with these applications, be my guest. Don't report it to me, of course. Report it to the LightDM GitHub or to the account service in GitHub so this thing gets fixed. So just a video to tell, to tell okay, you're not getting crazy. Um, you have maybe tried to set the LightDM uh, greeter settings here, and you can set the article login. Now this thing is worth what I'm not using. <clears throat> um, what I'm using, since I, I'm always in files, is this thing. This is what no is not this thing it is this thing open with sublime text and then use Perl. that gives you much more clarity that's the only thing that's used and all the rest is just gibberish so in here i'm just gonna copy a link to a particular uh, file so the article login is now used and that's basically what I do, edit it here, since it has to be, well, put on the, the ISO, right? So as an ISO builder, this is where I set everything in a file. And this is the front end. This is where users change and whatever you change in here is going to be changed in, in there. Why don't you just do it, Eric? Login, Plasma, save, and then click here. And here it is, article login, plasma, GPG. But as you see, your text is gone. <laughs> All the information that was provided is now deleted. So control. So let's take that guy. I'd rather keep the text. Uh, 
like so. It's gonna work too. And all this, this jibber jabber thing is actually not for me, it's from the guys, right? It's from the guys from Light DM and giving some information what you can do. Okay, so the login plasma is changed. We need to be, we need to point to the user share backgrounds. You can't point it to your home directory. You don't have access to it. You, it's just not done, it's not possible, right? So it has to be something from user share backgrounds. And talking about backgrounds, talking about backgrounds, if you think there are no backgrounds in the world, you can have a look. If there is an adapter background, there is GNOME backgrounds, MATE backgrounds, MINT backgrounds, and uh, lots of more stuff. And maybe the same applies if you type wallpapers, not sure, never tried it. See what comes up. Sure, place smart work by Arch Linux wallpapers, deep in community wallpapers. I have typed it in the past, I see. All right, so lots of wallpapers. Of course, our own submicron wallpapers can be used as well. Ubuntu wallpapers, KDE, etc. So anything that's actually going to user share backgrounds can be then selected in here. Never something locally. So I've changed something. Last thing, log out. And something should have happened. It's the black one that you see and instantly account service or LightDM or both, they take over and they say, no, nope, I'm gonna show you the wallpaper. Now, last thing, I will never have an issue with this since what we do, what I do is actually, well, let's have a look if it's still already installed. Control H. What we all have is a wallpaper folder, right? We all have it. And in variety, I will point it to, let's let's fake this, let's, uh, let's make it, and I will create it and then come back. All right, I went to look online for a wallpaper, downloaded it, put it in my Dropbox. So basically we're faking that variety is um, linked to the Dropbox. And what I say, is go to preferences. I'll say to the system that my copy favorite wallpapers too. I always point to my Dropbox and in here, there is also a desktop um, folder and in there are everything, are, are all the wallpapers. So if you do this and you go and have a look at the wallpaper selector, I do hope that the matrix is now in there. Here he is. So we are now pointing the wallpaper that we're using is the wallpaper from your home directory, right? Okay. Is this going to change the logout? Problem solved. The only thing you need to do is point to a wallpaper that's actually not coming from user share backgrounds and then everything is solved. So many people won't see this issue at all because of the fact that we have our own wallpapers and we set our own wallpapers also maybe via this, via this button and then go to a particular folder and select it that way. So we do not, we're not bugged by it that much that this, this wallpaper changed. But just so you know, if you've seen it, now you know what the cause is. And if you find uh, if you find something that can help the guys from LightDM and for account service, please put it on the GitHub. I will do just the same if I figure something out. All right, fun.